I'm Lisa Leonard, mom to Matthias and David, and wife to Steve. I create handmade jewelry, and I love taking pictures. Stick around and get to know us. At home, Steve and I are really a team, and he's amazing with the boys. He's nurturing and kind and intuitive. I, I do the cooking and cleaning and that kind of thing. He takes out the trash, but it's definitely teamwork. Well, Matthias is eight, and he's the younger of the two, but he's actually twice the size, so that's confusing. Matthias has a very tender heart and a very creative spirit. And Matthias is always working on a project. He loves to color and draw. David is just amazing. He is nine, he'll be 10 in a month. David has a syndrome called Cornelia DeLange syndrome. So he only has seven fingers. He's very small, he doesn't speak. He was born with a heart defect. When David was born, our world really came crashing down. You know, the child that we anticipated having didn't exist and we were holding a baby in our arms and we had no idea what to do with this baby. But within weeks, he had wormed his way into our hearts and we just fell head over heels in love with him. Even with all those things he faces, he's just a ton of fun, he's loving, he's curious and determined and he's such an amazing kid. I was working with kids with special needs and then coming home and spending all my other time with David and I was exhausted and I, I wanted to do something more creative and I wanted to do something that gave me a lot more flexibility. I started making jewelry just for fun and giving it to friends and friends wanted to buy more. It started very organically and so I said I want to start this business, I want to take a risk. And so we, we took a risk and we jumped in and it is, it's crazy to see where it's come and how much it's grown and how many opportunities have come our way. Lisa Leonard Designs is very much about celebrating this moment and celebrating something beautiful. And it can be very simple. But, you know, while Lisa Leonard Designs, we make beautiful jewelry and we make gifts, it's not just about something beautiful. We want it to have a deeper meaning. I started blogging just to see if it could maybe help the business, I wanted to be able to post pictures for friends and family. We joke that we have built the business on the back of my blog. It's been an amazing way to get new product out there, to share our lives, to kind of know the artist behind the jewelry. We take pictures of what I'm wearing, and we take pictures of DIY projects and before and after kind of decorating things. It's just a fun outpouring of what I'm doing and what's inspiring me. Inspiration is a really fluid and natural thing for me and I've learned how to nurture it more. I used to kind of wait for inspiration to strike and just see when it would. But now I, I found like if I really slow down, expose myself to beautiful things, concrete ideas start to form. And so I'll take notes and I'll make sketches and, and it's so fun to see inspiration start from something very vague and turn into an idea and then into something concrete and then into a mock-up and then you know finally to the finished product and that's probably my favorite part is seeing a finished product. The truth is that Steve runs the business and he is amazing at it. I oversee creative and marketing but he does visioning, structure, systems, profitability, all of that. Prior to working uh, for Lisa Leonard Designs, I was in pastoral ministry for 10 years. I'm in the beginning process right now of uh, ordination. When you get ordained, um, what that means is that um, you come under sort of the care of a denomination. They essentially license you for ministry. The joke is sort of you can marry and bury um, licensed for gospel ministry. Senior pastors are, are ordained generally. I just, I'd like to get the guys together before we do the ceremony and just, you know, we can encourage them a little bit, pray for them. Father, we, we pray, Lord, for their steadfast commitment to one another. We pray for open communication between them. Richie thought that he had the ring and he doesn't, <laughs> he left no. it. No. Yeah, he left it in the apartment. What so, apartment? His apartment. Oh my god. So they're trying to figure out what to do right now. So he's all oh freaking no. out. So yeah, we may just use my ring. I don't know, whatever. But. Oh my god. <laughs> so Steve and I are together a ton, but we have really distinct roles, and that seems to work well. Balance is such a hard thing, and I struggle with it because I am really driven, and I like to work hard, and I want to take advantage of opportunities. You know, I mean, there's times I'm tired, and there's times I work too hard, but when it comes down to it, 
My priority is the boys. If it doesn't work for our family, then it's not worth it. It doesn't matter how amazing the opportunity is. The dark places are when I start to think too much about the future and I start to to wonder, you know, where are we going to be with David in 20 years and what's that going to look like? I think it's scary and it can be overwhelming and I don't I don't have the answers. My faith is certainly core to who I am. I remember when David was born just being so broken and thinking, how can this be? I mean, how could God do this? I don't know, but I know God is God and God will do what He's going to do and I just need to be willing to journey through it. And so just letting it be what it is. This moment, I can handle. This moment works and, and our family is, is healthy and we're thriving. Embracing the unexpected and designing a life of joy.